Okay, so here's the thing. I mean, obviously, everything's about buying and selling. You you take uh, the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel 28, talking about Lucifer said you were the uh, son of the morning. It says you were perfect in every way till iniquity was found in you and by the multitude of your merchandise and the iniquity of your traffic. So obviously he was doing something in heaven, and when he fell, he took a third of the angels with him. So number one politician is Lucifer, and he knows how everything to do with trade. It's all That's why the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. All that has to happen for evil to prevail is for good people to do absolutely nothing. So when good people get up, and here's the thing, ask God what does he want you to do. Everybody can make a difference. Come on. The killing of Uncle Sam, the demise of the United States of America, musket book, start shipping out next week, pre-order Infowars.com. And Pastor Rodney Howard Brown is here with us. During a four-minute break last hour, you just really laid out the Mark of the Beast system and how the precursor's already here like no one else I've seen. And even if people don't believe in God, this system of control Imagine what a Stalin or a Hitler would have done with this and how they're already using the digital control and already harassing nationalists and Christians and patriots and persecuting the church, all of it. So lay that out for people. Okay, so here's the thing. I mean, obviously, everything's about buying and selling. You you take uh, the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel 28, talking about Lucifer, said you were this... Uh, son of the morning, it says, you were perfect in every way till iniquity was found in you and by the multitude of your merchandise and the iniquity of your traffic. So obviously he was doing something in heaven and when he fell, he took a third of the angels with him. So number one politician is Lucifer and he knows how everything to do with trade. It's all That's why the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. So when he was thrown onto the earth, here's Adam who's actually in charge of the whole planet, sells everything. Doesn't out. know it. No. Names all the animals. I mean, you imagine the brain to name all the animals. Alex, unbelievable. And so perfect in his generations. In in everything. And could commune with God. And then he Adam loses everything. And so here yeah, the devil's in control. What are the two areas that we are told as Christians we have to stay away from? Money, we shouldn't have any money, we should be poor, which is a total lie. If you read the Bible, it doesn't We're given dominion thing. over the whole planet. Everything. It's all devilish tricks. Totally. And the other area is government. We, but but Jesus is going to set up government. Ultimately, we're going to rule and reign with him. So we might as well practice down here. So the fact of the matter is this, that uh, people don't understand. They trick us into giving up our birthright. Totally. And then the Christians are just shoved down in the church on a Sunday, and you need to be, you need to be quiet. You need to shut up. Don't make a noise. Absolutely not. I can't preach on a Sunday when you're killing my people Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I'm not going to promise my people it's going to be okay just because we read the Bible and we pray. I, I tell you, we read the Bible, we pray, and God tells us to go do something. It's time for everybody to get up and kick butt and take names. It's time for people to get serious with what they believe. Stephen was stoned to death. I don't want to get to heaven and then have to tap Stephen on the shoulder and say, you're my hero because you love Jesus more than me, and I was a chicken. No, I agree. We should be on the march, but so people understand our children, the, the smartphones, the social media is making them depressed. Everything that's deployed, the cancer rates, we're falling apart. You talk about China and its whole system and India. Get, get into yeah. the mark of the beast because this proves it's all real. So everything's coming to this, this buying and selling, which has to do with your power, your ability to buy. So if they start removing cash, people don't know this. Seven, there's only 7% of cash in circulation in America. Well, remember the one time Christ beat people, the money changers, they'd make you buy a special coin to buy your sacrifice, and they manipulated it and made you pay 10 times what it was worth through scarcity. So it's showing they, through commerce, they make commerce your God and get between you and God and then rip you off. It, totally. it, 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 so Christ is like merchants ripping people off Gets him mad. That's why he flipped over the money change. He actually, Jesus actually beat the central bankers of the day. So here's what, in, in England, there's only 4% of cash in circulation. So th that's why they want to go to a total cashless society and then basically control you, monitor you through your social media, where you are, what you're eating. Through your purchases. You buy, everything. And so basically, you know, people say, people say to me, well, I'll move to another country. I've got news for you. They watch you in another country. I've got friends in Australia on the big cattle stations. And he told me, I mean, I'm talking about 
with their 40,000 head of cattle. I'm talking about 100, uh, a million acres, a million acres. That's a huge, the father and sons leave the house and they don't get home for three months and they're only on their property. Can you imagine that? That's how big their property is. So they said, if we build something on here, we get a call from the government. What are you doing? Well, how do you know I'm doing something? I'm like 20 hours by car from anywhere. They're watching by satellite. So guess what? You can run, but you can't hide. It don't matter where you are. You'll get tracked. I've already talked talk to people. And you called it the noose tightening. What you said during that four-minute break was... Yeah, the noose is tightening, basically, to where you won't be able to move, do anything, because your cell phone's on. They can track wherever you are, what you're doing. They listen to you in your home with your, with your television off. They can watch you in your home. They can listen to you on your device. They can switch your cameras on. They can record it. I mean, basically, we're in a surveillance state. It's, it's 1984, and it's and all it's about ubiquitous. The it, yeah, so. my, my wife was saying the other day, she mentioned something. My wife said she mentioned something, and then she went to search for it, and it popped right up in her search. She said, my phone's listening. Oh, they admit that. Yeah. That was the patent 12 years ago, and now they're doing it. So we made the joke secretly here. We would go talk about weird, archaic stuff, and a few hours later, it was popping up. I mean, it is just what they've done is so diabolical. So basically, you also got into India. India. Yeah. So basically, so... Um, India already has a national ID to buy and sell. Totally. China has their... You're getting into it. China is also working on that whole thing with, with the national ID. Plus, they're putting a social score to people that if you don't meet the social score, they won't let you get on an airplane. You might never be able to and fly. And it's already happening to journalists. So there it is. Buy nor sell, can't travel, can't live. You're putting an electronic gulag. I mean, this is, this is, this is here. It's not coming. No, it's right here. So here's the thing. We have a window. And if the church does not wake up, I'm talking about good people. All that has to happen for evil to prevail is for good people to do absolutely nothing. So when good people get up, and here's the thing. Ask God what does he want you to do. Everybody can make a difference. Come on. You don't have to do what I do or what Alex does. But you need to do it. And then those of you that are watching Alex right now, you know, some of you have received so much information. It's time for you to do something back to And by the way, they all know that. They're awesome, but they're so humble. And I'm just, because they expect they have to do this big, huge thing. No. Tell people about the website. Tell about what but you're doing. Or, or, people or, or, need to support you financially. You know, companies, there are companies out there, patriots. You need to send something monthly. Say, Alex, here's $1,000 to help with the info war. It's imperative that you get behind. Because let me tell you, the liberal... All those in the liberal agenda. They're all giving money. They're getting pumped millions of dollars. The Muslims reportedly give like a third of what they do to charity, but it's not charity. It's to big combines. It's totally to indoctrinate people. So it's an imperative. If I can Why won't Christians give like the Muslims? Because, uh, you know... <laughs> They've been told just go to go for a church for an hour and you're done. It's not that. You know, everything's been... A so I, and I'll tell you what, you know, because I deal with it. I teach people how to get blessed because I believe in prosperity. I mean, there's people that can go excessive in anything. Well, it's beyond uh, at a gut level. It's not just the giving, it's the committing. Yeah, but... I, I, I mean, that is the committing. But I'm saying, isn't it just the willing to be good? Yeah, because people think what they have is theirs. They don't understand that they're stewards of what they have. So they think, look at my money. This is all my money. It's actually not. Everything you have comes from God. When a baby's born, it's not born with a briefcase with special documents giving it wealth. It comes out with nothing. And when you leave the earth, you leave with nothing. So we are still... Well, plus, I was about to say, don't they get they have to parlay the success that their ancestors gave them? They have to continue that on now or they're going to lose it all. And I think it's the parents' job to teach the children the obligation back to help support the gospel of Christ. And even people that are watching, they say, listen, we need to get behind Alex. Well, well let's talk about it when we come back. Because like, I'm going to talk about the founding of Texas when we come back. Rodney Howard Brown's our guest. Amazing in studio. Always enjoy watching him on the internet and television. I wanted to get into what's happened in South Africa as the model of their control. But the Senate Intelligence Committee, they said this last night, but now it's official, has found Russian meddling on the side of Trump. Well, of course, you can find bots that somebody bought in Russia to influence every country was involved. Like you said earlier, Pastor, Ukraine admittedly was on the side of Hillary. But this claim that Americans didn't elect Trump, they just keep beating this drum. Which is ridiculous. I mean, Russia had nothing to do with me going to the ballot box. And the same with all the patriots across the United States. So this is all just an attack that the left is cannot get over the fact that they didn't get the candidate in and that they got somebody in there who's actually wrecking And I agree. Agenda. So as everything they do fails and as Trump turns the country around, what are they going to do?
Well, it's going to get worse. I think we're going to just see crazy things happen. You know, it, it's just you're seeing people act out of the ordinary. People going, they're going to the nth degree to try to stop. It's like a whole bunch of kids. Look at like you talked about the lady taking a dump in a coffee shop yesterday. So it's just, it, we're just going to expect to see more. By the way, insanity, mental illness, bizarre behavior is in every level way up in Western countries. What is it? What's happening? It's gone, it's gone to the umpteenth level. You know, I think we've got a lot of people on all kinds of drugs. I mean, you see what's taking place even with um, uh, the medical profession. I mean, you know as well as I do that there are many, many people are dying from malpractice, uh, things that take place even in the hospital, you know. So, which, you know, I know doctors are trying to help people, but the whole of medical science has changed. The system. Since, since well, the well, your book breaks down how the Rockefellers on record took control of it. Correct. Of the American Medical Association. So this is so important that people realize, you know, and again, let me just say this. I want to, I want to say this on air. I feel that you're going to have, and what will unveil here in the next year, will be a 24-hour news network They'll be around the clock, and you'll have different people that will report. Plus, you're going to have reporters around the world in the countries of the world that will be info warriors that will report. They'll do it as their hobby. And so daily, uploaded to InfoWars, you're going to be getting all these headlines that will come, and it will not come through the mainstream media, AP, uh, you know, Reuters. It's going to come straight to InfoWars. And I just see this as a new... Well, I like that because almost like... They're accredited. We, we approve of them, but they upload. We know who they are. It's there, and we put it into the live feed. That's pretty much what I've been uh, trying to envision. So in your mind's eye or in your spirit, what did you see, Pastor? I just feel that's what you're going to end up with here. And I, I feel that's why I said earlier, there's people out there, there's people watching, Alex, that you have the means. I'm not saying to throw $100. You have the means to come and bring millions of dollars to the table, and you need to do it. For the sake of America and for the sake of the nations of the earth. Well, I was about to say, I know just in Texas the amount of money there is, and I've never even really gone out and tried to get it myself. I've tried to self-fund, but as they try to shut us down, it becomes harder. And all these people know what's going on, but they think if they hoard more of the money that somehow it's they're going, going to, to win. Them. They're going to lose it all. Yeah, because they could collapse. The, 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 they could shut down the dollar tomorrow. We could, they could collapse Wall Street next Monday. And it's over. Or the, That's yeah. why the only real value is what you do spiritually, politically. Uh, you could say real estate as well, but they could try to take that. I mean, so many Christians and conservatives sit on the fence. They think that's safe in the spirit of stagnant behavior. But now you can see we're going over the waterfall. We're entering a big time of change. Totally. So I want to just say this again. you watching, uh, you have a company, you have a corporation, and you are successful. Get behind the InfoWars. You've, you've received from Alex for years. You know you're awake, so we don't have to wake you. But take your money, put your money where your mouth is, and say, Alex, hey, well, let's help pay for all what you need in your studio. Let's help underwrite the satellite times of what you need to take this thing global. Let's help you build a whole network of information. And, well, I'll and say this. If we got big donations that were earmarked, I would 100% go to satellite, one satellite, all of Africa, Middle East, satellite, Europe, Russia, satellite, uh, you know, Japan, that whole area, down through uh, Asia, uh, South Pacific, five, six satellites more, we cover the whole planet. I, I do We've have, got two right now covering by North the way, America. I, I do have contact with all those people, all the satellite companies, so I know all the thing. I can help you, that they won't gouge you, because if you... Oh, I know, we got gouged a few years ago, and the satellite was so high tech the companies wouldn't even decode it on the ground. Yeah. If you if you let an agency do it for you, the agency is doing it, they're not gonna cut the price down to get you a deal. I know we're gonna keep over. it high so they can get a greater commission. So let me help you with that. I know all these people that's another problem. The left loves to be in control. They don't do anything of, of the tech of the companies. And as you said, I, you, you're, thank you for your help. This is I, I appreciate you reaching out to us to help us because I admire the work you're doing. But the fact that you know all this, I've been through that, where the left is in these companies and they sabotage you through what they do. Totally. Well, it, it, it comes through lawyers, CPAs, all of this stuff. I can write a book on it. Yeah, I can write a book on all the corruption. And I'm just talking about from the church standpoint. These Christian attorneys and Christian CPAs are going to help you. Meanwhile, they're setting you up for trouble so that they can make money defending you at a later time. And they always act like you're stupid. You don't know what you're doing. But I, <laughs> we're not stupid because you, you know in your spirit, you know something's wrong here. So that's what the, I always work off of what my heart is telling me. 
So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to just believe what they say because, oh, well, that's... The point is, we're not just on air. People think, oh, they're on air fighting this. No, the whole system wants to shut this down to shut your voices up. Totally. So, but you, you, you've you got information through books, through through films, all your films, Alex. People watch those things all the time. I need to make more films. Yeah. It just, we get, but now... It does seem like a big film, a big event. They have trouble censoring, but the constant news we put out, they're trying to block it. Let me ask you this, because I've been asking a lot of the questions, Pastor Brown. Gut level, in the, in the, in the you know, age of the earth and in God's plan, you talk about a reprieve, just in your mind's eye. I know you don't want to say exactly, because you don't want to you know, be up there like you have all the answers, but at a spiritual level, a sermon level, how long has the planet got left? I mean, I know we have it from a Christian perspective from the Bible, which I think is 100% accurate, but in a modern context, the devil. I mean, it sounds like some interdimensional creature here trying to enslave us, and God gave us creation and life, and God's trying to warn us, but we have free will. So if this con artist wants to, you know, trick us into getting the white truck with him, the white van, God will let us do that. I, I, I'm not saying God's a sadist. I totally get God's spirit, but free will, man. I, I mean, I guess God he's, just... He's waiting on us. He's actually waiting on us. Jesus said, when I come back, will I find faith on the earth? So he's waiting on us. In every generation, down through the centuries, there'd be men and women that stood up, Wilberforce and others that made a difference for their generation. How would you have liked to live in England in the middle of the 1700s? Are you kidding me? I mean, imagine our travel today, we can get on a plane, fly around the world. They had to take three months to go and navigate, and it, it was crazy. So we're living in the greatest hour with the greatest technology to get the greatest message out to lost and dying world. And, to and the enemy was arrogant and thought, oh, Christians, conservatives, you'll never beat us. We've got the big money and the slick systems. But we use the Internet, and all of the world are defeating them now. It's, it's Gideon's army. It's the whole thing of Gideon's army, just 300. It's Gideon's army. It, it, we don't need that many. It's a David coming against Goliath. Who could ever believe that? So, that, so don't buy the narrative that there's nothing we could do because a lot of Christians are just waiting, well, I know the Lord will come one day, take me out. No. It's up to us. To I know if, if patriots went to every Democrat Congress event, Senate event, and just exposed Comey's a fraud, Russiagate's a fraud, Bill Clinton's a rapist, Infowars.com, web censorship's happening, that buzz scares them so much if people just everywhere went and did it themselves. But there's people that have to get involved. People need to get involved in the school board district. People need to get involved on the county. They need to get involved in local government because all government is actually local. That's, uh, you know, that, that has grown. So you need to make a difference in your town, in your village, in your city. And you need to get radical. You need to get on fire for... And by God. the way, people think it's like work to go out and fight corruption. When you go out, it's fun. You meet new people. It's exhilarating. You're supposed to be doing that. Listen, I'll tell you what. The greatest joy you're going to get is by helping other people and bringing them out of their condition where they are. You can't sit by and just watch this thing come and then do nothing and just, well, one day we'll all go to heaven. No, we're here on the earth. It's time for us to do something. It's time for us to get with the program. And because if you're not conscious of all the tech and the soul-stealing stuff, you're going to give in to it. To, we'll, and, we'll be right back with the final segment. Stay with us. Then Doug Hagman takes over. You know, there's a saying that there are no atheists in foxholes. And I've had very powerful uh, spiritual experiences in my life. And the more I've studied the globalists and their whole operations, they're now very honest about it. They are Luciferians. When you get to the top of the world, George Soros and his son are, on, are in photos at Aleister Crowley events. His son, every week there's new photos. It's like he lives at these things, spirit cooking, all this really evil stuff. And then I've noticed most of the atheists at the high level aren't really atheists. They just don't want you to know there's a God there so they can feed on you. I know you're all about positive stuff, Pastor Brown, but speaking to what the devil would do if he gets full control and we don't stand up, if this psychotic evil force in the universe. Well, he wants to destroy everybody. We can see that from the killing of all the babies, you know. So the babies are not even safe in their mother's womb. And Silicon you know. Valley says, we've got to kill everybody, then we become gods. Yeah, then, then the plundering of the children from the pedophilia all the way through the bombardment of the kids through primary school, through high school, and then by the time your kid gets to university, he's not even the child that you even knew. You sit and question yourself, how did my kid go wrong? So they're trying to block people from finding God by controlling the churches, putting drugs in the water, the controlling food. Controlling the narrative. Control the narrative. And spend... Make people victims 
of anything good, like Western civilization, free market, God, oh, that's abusive. You don't want that. Yeah, because he wants to destroy you. So the, the, the Bible says that the thief cometh but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I'm come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. So this is what's so important that we, that everybody does something, you know. And, and by the way, every place in the world where there are Christians, there is prosperity. Right across the line, there's not. Totally. Even across Africa, where I come from, every country that has been the poverty stricken is because they, they worship ancestors, they worship idols, and you can see it. You go to the nations, you go to Haiti, you see what's going on there, voodoo, and, and you go to Madagascar where people worship their ancestors. Every year they bring their mother and father, they dig them up or their grandparents and walk their, their bodies around the city to show them the new happenings of what's taking place. So it's a whole, it's a whole nother level. I mean, in, in India, India has 300 million gods. And obviously now India, India's received the gospel and India's rising. There are more millionaires there than anywhere else in the world. So India's seeing a whole reformation take place in India. In actual fact, I think it shocked the globalist of what's happening in India. And, and I've read it, a lot of that's Christianity driving. Totally, out. totally. I mean, there's huge churches and people are coming. It's the gospel. It's the light. It's the light of the gospel and connected to God and the Holy Spirit that's giving people creativity and people inventions. And you can see what happened in America coming out of the first great awakening in the 1700s and the second one in the 1800s. And we need another great spiritual awakening. Well, it's like the Reformation led the Renaissance. Totally. So we need another great spiritual awakening in America. So where you saw all those kids marching for, you know, anti-guns and that, the day will come when those kids will be packing the streets and they're going to be marching for King Jesus. I believe that with all my heart. And I feel that we've got this window. God has granted us a last-minute reprieve. It's not over yet. Because let me tell you, back in 07, I said to the Lord, tell me, is it too late? Yeah, I mean, it's 07, 08, is it too late? I'll tell the people, because I'm not going to lie to them. I'll tell them, hey, so it's, uh, it's over, and put yourself in the brace position, like they tell you on an aircraft, which is not a good thing, because that means you're trying to get your head as close to your butt. Put so your head can, between your you knees. Can, you can kiss it goodbye, you know. It's like we're going down, you know. So... No, the Lord said to me, it's not too late. And, and God is waiting on us. He's waiting on us to stand up. And I want to just say this, you know, I feel the Lord's hand of protection is on you. If they were going to take you out, they would have taken you out. They're not going to touch you because of the blood of Jesus that protects you, the angels of God that encamp about you, your wife, your children, and everything that you touch. So don't, don't get frustrated. Know that the Lord, there's a God in heaven. And you know, he's about you. He said, I'll be about you as a wall of fire. He oh, told believe me, I feel it. Yeah. I just feel like I'm doing good enough. No, no, Alex, it's not about that. You're doing your best. Here's the thing. Everybody must do what they can. Everybody does their best. And that, at the end of the day, God takes our best and he multiplies. Oh, I know. I can feel God's strength. So I just can't believe that other people don't see it. Yeah, but we, that's why I'm going to preach the gospel to them so that they can experience the power of the Holy Spirit because it's the Holy Spirit that will energize Well, it's like you said, we've got to get glorified bodies even feel God. Ultimately, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get that. We don't oh, no, have that at this juncture. But we, just the edges of it, it's so big. Like, it's like there's no energy even like it. That's why people don't even know. No, there's nothing like it. So I, I want to say this. You know, people, you, you've been attacked like I've been attacked. But I look beyond all of that. I see. I said, that man, God is using him to wake people up. And I, I, that's why I said, I said to my wife, I want to help Alex somehow. That's why I sent the books and all that. I come here. I actually brought a gift for you today. Well, let me just say, Pastor Rodney, I feel in the spirit strong. Even when I listen to you, but in person, I feel it. it. Makes you feel good. Well, we praying for you. Our church is praying for you, and you keep up the good work. And don't, 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 re, don't even react. Because my first reaction when I was under attack was I would react to all the bullies, and I would get up and whatever. Well, my listeners so, have said they're sick of hearing about the attacks. Not that they don't want to know about it. They just they don't care. They're going to support us. I just can't believe what liars they are. Yeah, but the best thing to do is get one of your other staff to make up a 10-minute clip on all of what's going on, and then you just come in and get the info wars, and then you don't have to deal with it. Because I deal with, <laughs> listen, let me tell you, I, I, I get angry. You know, we, you, you do get angry. The Bible says, actually, be angry and sin not. But can, do you want me to give you the gift? Up or sure. Okay, so I collect 45s. So I was given this 45, specially made. This is from the United States Submarine Force. Pride runs deep. It's actually serial numbered. And I wanted to bring you a gift today. Well, you on showed it to me earlier. I'm very honored. Thank you. I know it's air. unloaded here, but. On the air. 
Amazing. Look at the document cam shot on a this. Pre a preacher's <laughs> giving Alex Jones a 45. Silent service dolphin code. And then it's got the uh, double sabers here. Well, God bless you. Thank you. It's a beautiful 45. I can't wait to shoot it. Yeah. and, and Submarine uh, Force 012. Thank I, you, sir. I can't, I can't wait till the media put that headline up. Preacher brings Alex Jones 45. That, that's the headline for the mainstream media. It's beautiful. So, uh, yeah, feel the action on it. It's a, it's a, just feel that action on it. It's got a I great know. It's very nice. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's beautiful. And the trigger pull, everything. Well, next time you come back, I think you've got to catch a plane soon. We've got to go shooting. Oh, we definitely. Yeah. So, I, you know, I started gun clubs in churches to honor I know, everybody. I know. Because I've we, seen the news, and they demonize you. We, but we, that's one place we're also winning is the Second Amendment because it's tangible. We can feel it. Because if they take the Second Amendment, we lose the First Amendment. So somebody said, shut up. Well, come down and make me shut up. Because the Founding Fathers didn't put the Second Amendment there so we could protect our house or go duck hunting. The Founding Fathers put the Second Amendment there so we could protect ourselves from a tyrannical government. That's right. It's there to defend the First, the Fourth, everything. And guess what? They made me swear to defend the Constitution, Alex. So they should never have made me a citizen. As long as I was a green card holder, then everything was okay. But the moment they, the moment I raised my hand to say I place to defend the Constitution, that was in America, you got me. So the Lord is with you, my friend. Oh, believe me, I can feel it. He's with you. And he will help you through all the storms, all these attacks, even lawsuits, they will come unravel. And, you know, look what's happening. Even they try to try, it's like everybody that comes against Trump, something happens to them. I'm saying it's like an unseen hand is dealing with them. So people well, think... that's already happened with most of the lawsuits. Totally. But I'm talking about even with our president. No, that's happened, so, yeah. So we're praying for him, and, and God will bring him through. As long as he stays humble and just cries out to God, which he is, I believe he's calling out to the well, Lord. Well, you can see that he said he's changed, too. Nobody's perfect, but he's stronger and stronger. And I know, as he's told me the times I talked to him, that, you know, he talks about God. He really yeah. feels it. But we didn't elect a Sunday school teacher. We, did, we elected a wrecking ball. And that's what we got. So I, if he ever hears this, wreck on, Mr. President, wreck on, we're behind you. I agree. You know, speaking of providence or, or serendipity, synchronicity, uh, Doug Hagman's is friends with your co-author. And then this was all, ha he only hosts like every two or three weeks, but he happens to be hosting today and your co-author is coming up today, uh, yeah, uh, Paul L. Williams. So that'll be good. Correct. And they're great friends. And I've actually been on Doug Hagman's show. So that's just, I know, I've seen it. It's all just working out great. Well, we're trying to get more board ops and more producers hired so we can do a daily show with Doug and, and with other co-hosts with him. So that's what we're trying to do uh, in the future here. But but just separately, the nastiness of Hollywood, that you know, the hatred uh, of just how unhappy they are. Wouldn't it be nice if the leaders of Hollywood found Christ? Maybe we should pray for them. I think I think there's a lot of people in Hollywood that are, if you really knew what was going on, they're not in agreement. But it will. Oh yeah, them. most of them don't like it. They're bullied into it. Correct. So it's going to cost them their future career. So I think what wouldn't it be great if we had other <coughs> alternatives for Hollywood actors to make movies that was outside of. Well, the here's system. the thing: since the Awakening happened, people even ten years ago still liked Hollywood. Almost no one likes it. If I have Hollywood people on, even if they're good people, people don't like it. I have a pastor on like you, they love it. People hate the system. Yeah. They, 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 I'm, I'm saying Hollywood has only now begun to figure out, like you said, it's being propped up by government. It's gone. But what, you know, not only with the 24-hour news network, what if you have your own film studio, Alex? And then you hire... By the way, all the main grossing ones are Christian films now. Sure. That, 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 wow. The book is The Killing of Uncle Sam, co-written with Paul L. Williams and Rodney Howard Brown. God bless you, my friend. We're back in two minutes, and we're going to just say hi to Doug Hagman real quick. Then we'll punch out of here and uh, let him continue on with your co-author, Paul L. Williams. Get the book at InfoWarsStore.com. But regardless, just keep praying for the broadcast and sending out the links. We'll be right back. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. I 